Alright, here's where we stand so far. I tore a $20 treadmill apart to gain this motor. Used a file with the motor running to turn it down from metric to a 5 8 and use the pulley that was on the original motor on the treadmill motor. Got this fine Harbor Freight link belt to get rid of vibration, which they're really good at. Paired down the electronics, so I just have the motor controller and then that transformer got something to do with making it run smoother, so I left it in line. I do need to get a rotary potentiometer because right now I'm using the slider that was built into the console. But this is how it works. As you can see, I can get a pretty slow speed going there. Let's set this down. At this speed, you can slow it down, but you can't stop it. Oh, almost got it to stall, and then it picks up to overcome it. And then, rather than changing lengths, it's a simple matter of turning the pot up. I believe it'll go a lot faster than the bearings in this old drill press is supposed to be turned at. But as you can see, it still runs pretty smooth. That's screaming, actually. Still got a little bit of work to do here as far as getting my electronics in a box hanging off over here and whatnot. Finding me a rotary pot, but it's going to work out good.